Hi there and welcome to Healthy Lifestyle with Geraldo, a show dedicated to helping you live a longer and a healthier life while giving you the inside scoop on all of the latest fitness, health and lifestyle trends. And of course, most importantly, having fun while doing it. So let's get right to it. My first guest is an entrepreneur, a restaurateur, an actor, and a musician. That's a great combination, by the way. Yeah. And he can make a pretty darn good cheesesteak, too. Uh, welcome to the show, the man who can do it all, Tony Luke Jr. Hi, Tony. Oh, how are you? Good how to are see you, it. my man? Thanks for being here. Oh, man, this is great. I love this. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about the history of Tony Luke. Mm. Well, we started in February 3rd, 1992. Okay. So we're on 24 years now. Wow. You know, we started out this little sandwich shop in the middle of nowhere mm -hmm. where no one wanted to go. So we kind of had to let people notice who we were. Right. We did everything, you know, to order. We still do everything to order. The, the secret, though, is we never sold cheesesteaks when we first opened. Okay. That didn't come until a little bit later. We got a lot of pressure from people. It's like, do you have cheesesteaks? Do you have cheesesteaks? Mm -hmm. So we added them on. But we've been doing it for 24 years, and we've been really concentrating on licensing and franchising for, the, for about the last five years. Okay, and some of your current projects you're working on? Um, well, TV stuff. I have three uh, feature films that are in the works now. Wow. I'm producing two. I have a new pilot I'm shooting for a television series out in Los Angeles. Uh -huh. uh, so I try to stay, you know, I try to stay current. I'm all wrapped up with an old project that we did. Uh -huh. uh, we brought out for Domestic Violence Week. We did a film oh, called okay. The Nail. Okay. And it's like this really cult favorite film. Mm -hmm. So for Domestic Violence uh, Month, we put it out on a website for people to download and stream for, okay. free. for free. So we decided to keep it for the whole 12 months. Wow. So the response has been unbelievable. We have a website called thenailthemovie.com. Mm. And it's a very tough film to watch, but it, it, you know, it's shot in Philadelphia. It was... Okay. Um, Really, really good film, loosely based on a true story, hmm. and uh, it affected a lot of people. I'm when sure you watch did, that yeah. film, it affects you one way or the other. I'm sure, you know. Yeah. And one thing, and I want you to tell me a little about the Franken Foods a little bit. Oh yeah. But uh, I saw your website, and the first thing that comes on is your video. I uh, the video when you start talking about oh history, about the company. Yeah. I tell I got to tell you one that really t it touched me. It really did touch me. I, I you know because it's 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 a similar story that we all hear about coming here to America and struggling and really achieving success through hard work and dedication and persistence. So that's what touched me about it. And I'm sure that anybody that will go to your website and, and see it will feel the same way I did. But it was really nicely done, I have to say. Yeah, I mean, you can still do it. I mean, we don't, even in this economy, if you mm -hmm. work hard and you know what you're good at, I think some of the biggest problems that most entrepreneurs make right. is they want to do everything. Right. And the truth is we're good at some things and we're not good at others. Right. The real key to success is knowing what you're good at, mm -hmm. what you're not good at, and delegating okay. those things. But allow these people that you put in place to do their job. Right. Don't micromanage them. You know, right. my philosophy is if I have to micromanage manage you, I don't need you. Right, correct. You know what yes. I mean? Yes. So let them do their job. You have to be able to let go. And I think one of the biggest problems with entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. some of them is they have a hard time letting go. You know, they have to, I'm okay. not saying you shouldn't oversee right. everything, but you know, it, it needs to be a family. People need to know that you respect them and you appreciate what they do right. and let them do their job. Right. So, you know, tell me what, what is your favorite sandwich? <laughs> uh, chicken cutlet Italian. Chicken cutlet Italian. Well, you're Italian, I'm Italian, so yeah, yes. Chicken cutlet Italian is by far my favorite. <laughs> the pork Italian is right under that. Uh -huh. And then the cheese stick. <laughs> wow. What are some future plans you have for you? For me or for the brand well, itself? I guess for the brand itself. Well, basically. I mean, we're currently, I think, at 20, 23 locations. We have five that are signed to open is this it in, year. Is it the Philadelphia no, area? It's, or is no, it? it's all up and down the East Coast. Okay. Um, so we're working hard with getting the brand together and getting that right because once you start franchising or licensing, the difficulty then becomes in quality control. Mm -hmm. It's getting the right team together. Right. Because see what happens is all these franchisees and licensees, these are great people. Right. You know, mm -hmm. they, no one wants to fail. They go right. out there, they give it their all. They, mm -hmm. they try and, right. and they're there every day. Right. But what I try to make people understand is, you know, these people are working hard every single day. It mm -hmm. doesn't take a week. You know, right. it, there's right. a learning curve for everyone. Right. And I tell everyone that there's a new Tony Luke. So I'm like, look, give them a little bit of time. They're going right. to fall right in to where you want That's them right. to be. Because right. these are hardworking families 
that are taking these licensing and mm -hmm. franchising and they want to build the future. That's right. You know, and our and, and our loyal customers have supported them so much. Wow. And we always strive, we're always looking to improve the brand. Uh -huh. We're always looking for something to make it that much better, right. that much more accessible. And it's always uh, tailored for the customer, right? That is your number one priority is to make them happy, correct, it, Tillman? Well, yeah, because again, my philosophy always was you, you don't want to sell anything you wouldn't eat yourself. Right. You don't want to perform in a manner that you wouldn't want someone to perform for you. Customer service is very big for me, and we right. really strive very hard to instill that in all of our family because, right. again, we really think of of everyone as family, not employees. True. Because employees come to work every day and they do a job. Family has an interest in it. Family wants it right. to do well. And we want you to come to work every day and go, I love what I do. If Absolutely. you don't love what you do, then, then go I'm not doing my job. You know, so real quickly, right. tell me the franchising information. I can take in that more information. I know it's 35,000 for the licensing fee. Okay. Then you have to pick, um, you know, what size store you want. Right. And then where you want it. And then you'll work with our guys to find the right location because okay. the brand has to approve the location okay. and get together and, and then we train you and teach you the philosophies right, and the right. points <laughs> of, of and the core values of the company. Oh, well, sounds good. Well, thank you so much for being oh, with us. I really appreciate it, Tony. Oh, it was great. Thank Always you. Always good luck to you, okay? Thank you. Thank All right, guys, still to come, can the end of the meal indulgence actually be good for you? We'll find out when Healthy Lifestyle returns in one moment.